Hey everyone, so in the following video we'll go over the details of how you can set up a temporary or a splash page uh, using the Blanco template from Flow Themes. So what we have here is a freshly cleanly installed template. Um, as you see here there's really no content so what I want to do at the moment is just add a temporary page or splash page to show my audience that the website is coming soon. So what we'll need to do is first of all log in into the back end of our website. We'll then need to go over to landing page and create a landing page. Let me just click on add new. So I'll call this landing page, landing page one. I will then go ahead and publish my landing page. Now I will go into flow theme and click on landing page here to activate my landing page. So what I want to do now is actually create uh, just a splash page like an image banner uh, for my users to see that the website will be uh, launched shortly. So here I have the option to activate my landing page. Now here you type in the landing page title. So as you see here, I typed in LA and the landing page title came up. Now what I want to do is set the landing page background image. So I'll click here to select a file and I'll just grab a file from my computer. I'll have this image here. I'll drag and drop it. All right, so once the image is uploaded, uh, just simply click on add this attachment. So we've added the attachment. Now with the background position, we want to center, center this image. We want it to be in the center for every computer. We'll have no background scroll, uh, no background colors, no number of blocks, nothing yet. All right, so let's go ahead and click on update settings. And we'll go here to our page, we'll refresh it. All right, so as you see here, we have our um, image which I've just uploaded. Now, as you notice, we have this page title which really doesn't look very well, it doesn't sit with our design. So I'll just go over here to the back end. We'll go over to landing page and I'll just need to remove this page title. And I'll click on update settings. I'll go here and refresh this page. Now, if you're creating a landing page similar to this one I just created, by default you will have to insert a page title here to begin with in order so you, so you can set a landing page or so you, so you can find your landing page within this section over here. Now, once you've uploaded, then you'll just need to go back and remove that page title uh, or the landing page title and then it will not appear on your website. So this is the first option as to how we can set up a landing page on our website. Uh, this is just a simple image uh, that has been designed and basically like a banner to, once again, tell our customers that our website is coming soon. So the next option we have in terms of creating a different type of landing page is simply adding a simple text page. So I'll go here to my landing page that I've created and over here I'll just type in some text and it'll say um, our website is coming soon. Alright, so I've added my text. Now within the fonts I've selected heading 1 um, because it's the largest font at the moment. See if I go to paragraph this would be the, san the standard text and then select heading 1 and then I center align my text. So I'll click on update here. I will then need to go to my flow theme section where the landing pages and remove the background image that I've added. And I'll click on update settings now. I'll go here to the front end of my website and I will click to refresh the page. And here I have the simple text where it says our website is coming soon. So finally we have the third option of adding uh, thumbnails to our homepage. 
So what we'll do is just scroll down to the bottom of the page and we have here some options where we can add social media links or um, other links that can direct you either to your existing blog or to a website. So I'll select, I'll add three social media links. I'll add my Facebook. I'll just click on add this attachment and I've already pre-uploaded these images. So I'll just add my custom URL here so it'll redirect. I'll click on add to landing page. I'll then select another file my Pinterest. I'll click on add this image. Once again I'll need to get my Pinterest link, add the URL, add it to the landing page, and finally I'll add my Twitter account. Alright so now that I've added all of my links I'll click on uh, add to landing page I'll go here, update this page. I'll go back to our flow theme section within the landing pages area. I want to make sure that the number of blocks are uh, is set to three blocks instead of one or two. So now that I have three blocks, I'll just click on update settings here again. And I'll come here and refresh this page. So now I have all of my social links that I wanted to add. And if I click on Facebook, it'll redirect us to uh, the U plus We Photography Facebook page. And same applies to Pinterest and Twitter. So these are the basic steps and guides how you can set up a landing page. Now please note that you do have the option of adding some text uh, within uh, or underneath these social media buttons. So if you click on edit, you can add your text here, uh, for example, Facebook. Just click on update, click update here again, and refresh the front end of the website. And here we have the title that I've added. Now because um, I just want to have a more clean design, I decided not to add this title from the very beginning. So I'll just go back here and remove that. But this is pretty much it in terms of how you can add three types of landing pages and uh, we do hope this video helps if you have any questions please let us know thank you very much for watching